So one of the things I, I, I argue that I think has not been argued before is really what caregiving does for you in terms of really your own personal growth. We're accustomed to thinking about you grow when you take on a new challenge as a competitor. We're not accustomed to thinking that investing in somebody else makes you grow. But the first thing it teaches you is extraordinary patience. And patience is very valuable. It teaches you, you know, to, to, um, to learn how to invest in another person in a way that gives them support and guidance, but also pulls back and lets them make their own mistakes. Now, not in the, in the first year, not so much. They're like sitting up and rolling over. Although even letting a child learn how to walk, you know, <laughs> they're about to fall down and you really want to hold them. You can't. You got to pull back. And that is a characteristic of a good manager, is somebody who knows how to invest in somebody else and support them and guide them, but also let them take the initiative, even when that means they're going to fall. And that, so that's one point. And really, I think the sort of experience, you can say, look, I, I, you know, I've really thought a lot about, you know, I'm going to be much better at investing in my team. Uh, another one is, and this one's critical because we are in this world of just constant change. Nothing teaches you how to adapt to fast changing rhythms better than caregiving. You know, you think you got it all together <laughs> and your child gets sick or you're just trying to get out of the house with, with a child. You are constantly making do. You're constantly adapting, you know, resetting. And so that's another way in which actually you're, you're going to be, you know, a logistical whiz, but you're also, it's really good for your brain. And, and the other thing I would say is I think we shouldn't hide these things. Somebody just told me that uh, she had a couple years out on her on her resume and her employer said well what were you doing and she said I was caring for my mother and he said why didn't you put that on there and she said well I didn't think that'd be anything good and he said I think somebody you know who cares for her mother is somebody who's got real character and I think we should you know we don't want to adorn our resumes with baby pictures but again we should own it we should say, you know, I really wanted to be with my child. I thought it would be really good for my child. We now know that you are shaping your child's brain for the first five years. Uh, and and you, you should own that.